First of all, let me define an index fund. I want you to think of an index fund as a place that sort of aggregates all of the top companies in a country and then measures their overall growth. So when you put your money in an index fund, you're not just buying shares of one company. Instead, you're buying shares in hundreds of companies, just depending on the index fund that you actually choose. It's commonly known as a way to measure the whole market, hence the name index. It's sort of just indexing a collection of companies and their overall performance. A good example of this is the S&P 500 popular index fund. What it does tracks the top 500 companies in the United States. When you put your money into that fund, you're buying a small portion of all 500 companies. In other words, when you put your money in the S&P index fund, you'll own a little bit of Apple, a little bit of Microsoft, maybe a little bit of Tesla and hundreds of other companies, meaning you're very well diversified. You've sort of split your risk across 500 companies rather than just buying one stock. You're basically saying, I don't want to pick and choose and decipher which specific company will grow. Rather, I'll just buy them all and hope that the best companies make a lot more money than the worst companies lose. And funnily enough, this approach generally outperforms the majority of hedge funds. So how do you go about doing that? Well, you have to go to a place that allows you to put money in a fund. And that place is called a brokerage. Like any shop that you go to, there's a selection of products that you can buy and sell at your whim, including index funds, stocks, currencies, cryptocurrencies even, you name it, there's probably a product for it. So you find an online broker, there's a few clicks away on a Google search, you'll get there, there's thousands to pick from, and then you open up their investment platform, enter the index fund you want to invest in, and in a few clicks, you'll have your money in the fund of your choice. Now, investing in the index fund is a pretty straightforward process. The difficulties actually generally lie deciding on which index fund to choose, and how much you should be investing each month. So spend some time either by yourself, researching online or taking a course or go and sit down with a financial advisor and work out a sensible strategy to suit your personal goals.